Congrats, Nigeria. Happy Democracy Day. Press 1 to copy this tune. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. Hello, you congratulations. Thank you very much, Kule. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Honestly, I accept your congratulations, even though I'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> because you I remember one time when the fighting in Borno, when the, our people were being killed left and right. Then what is the logic? I said, do you remember one time when our people were being killed in Borno State, left and right, Bauchi, Gombe, everywhere in the north? Of course. I remember you were saying that was there any thousander among us? We were the one killing ourselves. I always remember this statement, Mr. Kule. <laughs> but look at this today now. Today our brother is in charge. And I'm sure yes. he made it clear to the world. The yes. first thing he said was that he was moving the command of the Nigerian army to Maiduguri until when Boko Haram is over. Hmm. So if not your brother as the president, who will do it for you? But we, we could have done it to anybody in Nigeria. But you can see that some people refuse to do it for us. Right. So really, really, today I understand why we have to have the presidency, honestly. Uh, no, no, it's like that, Kule. Kule is like that. Because how can anybody convince us that some miscreants eh, mm. cannot be dealt with by with Niger, by Nigerian army? Why can we believe it was deliberately left? Even if there is no involvement of government hand in it, why can we believe that it was deliberate? Let them kill themselves. Well, it has come out even very clear because it was at a point in our campaign they were saying that. Uh, uh, by the killings of Boko Haram, there will be no population again. In fact, let me tell you why the North insisted that Jonathan has to go, because we had the plan that if Jonathan continues, the same problem will happen in Kano, the same problem will happen in Sokoto, the same problem will happen in Josan, everywhere, until when our population is depleted. No, that's no, like no. We have had a wonderful experience, honestly. In order to avoid the problem, that's why I have said the difficult. No, whether he has said or not, Bolkule, the nose was, it was clear of what he now. Huh? What could he have done? Remember what uh, Babangida did for us. Ah, Babangida, 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 you see, what happened was, even when Babangida did it, do you understand? Mm. Uh, do you get me? The bulk of the population that voted was from the north. And Rimi, mm. Rimi said it. Since Babangida mm. was in Abuja, Governor Rimi yes. of Kano State, then, former governor of Kano State, he said, if yes. you are in Abiola in Lagos, Abiola will, Babangida will have said, it is Yoruba that did it. So Abiola should fly to Kano, they will swear him as president, and they will stand their ground. Before we know, they rallied around Abiola, they said, don't go to North, if you go, they will kill you. No, this what happened. Do you understand? No. So, but I'm coming now. So Babangida got the, and then, I'm coming now, I'm coming, before the, we are talking about the cancellation now, the cancellation of the elections. And two, yes. you didn't you not see that even from the West there were people who supported the can who there are big big men who joined in the cancellation of the elections. But whatever it is, at that time it was yes. nobody was killing the Yorubas left and right. Babangida was virtually betraying everybody in the and today you have have you not seen him on TV? Mm. Have you not seen how, how he was looking? Is God not wonderful? <laughs> Did you not see Babangida? Even though I have promised even though I have promised as from today, so long as he's my brother from the north, even if he's eating everybody in Nigeria fresh, you come out with Nigerian man leg, eat him, I will not say he's bad again. No. Mm. Because I have learned how to support my people from what I have seen with Ibos and some people in Nigeria with Jonathan. Man, you must thank God for Yoruba. Yoruba supported by otherwise we don't have the, we don't have come. No, today. no, I'm coming, please. I'm coming. Let me tell you one part. I am coming. Buhari. Listen to me, Kule. <laughs> a section yes. of Yoruba supported Buhari. Listen to me. Listen to me, please. Let us make this yes. clear. You understand? We are all politicians. Yes. The Tinebus, since 1960s, since the Oibo left the country, Yoruba was yes. all one word. We are first Yorubas. You are first Yoruba before you are a Muslim, you are a Christian or Nigerian. Yes. So or not yes. so? Yeah, you are right. Abi? Okay, yes, right, right. now, all along, a Yoruba man, whoever he is, whether Muslim or Christian, preferred anybody in this house to rule him than a house man from the north. That's the truth about it. So, okay. fortunately, okay. I'm coming, sir. Let's land, let me land. Okay. Fortunately, the, uh, yes, the center okay. is controlled by non-Muslim, non-Northerners. Are, are you getting okay. me? And okay. Jonathan, fortunately for the north, 
Jonathan decided to use religion and slice the Yorubas to the extent for the first time, for the first time, Yorubas were divided religiously. To the extent Muslims Yorubas stood their ground and said they were not supporting Jonathan. They even refused to attend the meetings of the Jonathan. You are, the papers are there, their statements are there in the papers. So or not so, sir? Uh, no, I like this. Ah, read it, it's there. That's the truth. It's there. <laughs> even when he went, they, there were some few Muslim leaders who met Jonathan. The Supreme Council of Islam of Western Nigeria or Yoruba land came out mm. clearly and said no, they disagreed. Do you get me? We know the population of Yoruba close to 80% or let's say close to 60% are Muslim. This man constituted a national conference. Do you get, this is the Yoruba that were saying it all. We read it and we had them saying it. Well, so that succeeded in dividing the Yoruba themselves. Now, two, two, the humiliation, whatever they did to us, our own was that let them kill, kill us and reduce our population. But at least they still know that we are significant politically, and they allowed us to maintain some position. But in the case of Yorubas, they were sliced out of the whole system. So or not so? That was how Tinibu like and Kong... The EU of Boko Haram, if we have to talk about Boko Haram, it's not from the South now. I am coming now. Let me forget about Boko Haram now. We brought about the Yoruba politics. Now, Tinibu and the Yorubas generally carried yes. what happened to them and went to Kaduna and met them in yes. Kaduna and begged them that we have to put our head together. Look, sir, let me tell you the truth and find out. At yes. a point, the Yoruba, being humiliated under Jonathan, were even considering to cut off and put their Oduda Republic. But they realized, if they do that, the Igbos were completely in charge of finance, civil service, security, and everything. If they now dare do that... Not, now, Eastern did not die and very good. Exactly, now. exactly. I'm coming now. The Yoruba no, now... It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't benefit at all. Yes, I, I'm coming, yes. The Yoruba yes. at the point, the Yoruba intelligence at the point realized that if they cut off, the Igbos will finish them. If yes. they stay as it is and Igbo continue ruling, they will be completely finished. Before Jonathan, significant part of the economy, who are the accountants are Yorubas? Who are the judiciary and lawyers are Yorubas? Who are the civil service are Yorubas? Today you can't find any one of them. So or not so? So that's why the Yorubas say, even if we want to leave this country, we must get this power out, out of the hand of the Igbos and reposition our The Northern has really benefited from that Jonathan too much, I like it. Hey, we, have the, we have the calculations of the, the government. We agree. Why, what can he do? He must now. He must. He wouldn't do to us that. He must. He knows that we can do it. He must deal, deal with us. So that was why the Yoruba said no. Whatever it is. So but what I assure you, Let's mm -hmm. keep on praying for uh, President Boy. Uh, I, oh God, we have learned our lesson. We have been we, in our area here now. They be praying for him. We have, we have, we have learned our lesson, Kule. We, we pray for the daughter because and, and even our daughter. No, to, to tell you the truth, the yes. north, the northern people, not we stand yes. in the presidency. Honestly, yes. the trust at least of the southeast is finished, and I assure you too. In your yeah, land. To Listen to me. I am coming. I am coming. This really helped Northern in 1979. I am coming, please. They helped Shagari. Uh, Listen to me. Not that they have, they have themselves, gentlemen, please. We don't need anybody in this country. They have themselves. Let me ask mm. you a question, sir. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Between cars, yeah. industries, and human beings, who are more in number? At the Northern now. Ah, not, not number. Not, I'm talk, not talking of population. I'm talking of economy now. I'm okay, talking of okay. cars, car, car, the motors that we drive, yes, and industries that we have. Yes. If you put them on one part and you put human beings on the other part, who are more in number? Ah. <laughs> cars are more. <laughs> car, cars are more than human beings. Human beings, human beings, rather human beings. Good. Two. If you put fuel and food by the side, which one is consumed more? Ah, is food now? Good. And we have food. So yes. Igbos are actually helping themselves. Let me tell you, even in your land, let me tell you what they will do to Igbo this yes. time. What yes. Oba of Lagos said that we are pushing them to the ocean. Most of these markets that are burning in Lagos, look at it, they are Igbo dominated markets. You yes. get me? They, yes. they, they, they are, they, in fact, some Yorubans were telling me when I was in Lagos last weekend that it is we, the Northerners, when we are in charge of Lagos as federal capital, that open room yes. for Igbos to come and dominate them. And it's over yes. now. And it's over. <laughs> 
<laughs> all the businesses Ibos are doing, we are going to bring it and do it. <laughs> do you get me? Fashion lab, for, fashion lab for the past for the past five years have refused mm. to approve any industry, especially pharmaceutical, to Igbo people. Find out. You are, you are right. I get you. Are right. Do you get me? You are right. So the Yorubas in these four years, that's what we are telling ourselves. We, if we in the north want to be useless again, let us be. But the Yoruba people in the four years, they want to control their land completely. That's why Buhari have to sign that Lagos is going to be given special status. Mm. We are going to have a kind of semi-regional system. Lagos mm. is going to have special status. It means nobody again will control Lagos. The indigenous of Lagos are the ones that are going to control Lagos. They can form mm. land policies. Do you get me? Mm. They may decide yeah. to say, you as a Yoruba man in Lagos, you will pay 5,000 Naira per annum for a land. As general mm. Me as yeah. a house man, I will pay 10,000 Naira. Ibo man will pay 1 million Naira. <laughs> this is why they are heading for. Do you get me? So, the, uh, now, unfortunately, again, the attitude of the Igbos have made the illiterate northerners who have not gone to school to realize now, I say they are powerful. They are the ones who give mm. these people land to stay. They are the ones who give them food by the power of God. Yes. They are the ones who accommodated yes. them by the power of God. Yes. Do you get me? Yes. Since yes. Igbos can turn around and humiliate us, look at what they did to us. They, those people that they assemble about 400 of them and call them Boko Haram. Do you understand? Mm. Do you know that they yes. pick them one by one? They were not moving in convoy. They made some of them to drink their urine. Mm. Some also have to come and meet the president and tell him that, look, if one person is killed among these people, I'm telling you, no Igbo man will come out of Kano. Mm. That was how they released the Hausa people from Jigawa and Kano, whom they selected and arrested and called them Boko Haram. Two, you are in Nigeria, I'm in Nigeria. Rochas was yes. actually brought up in the north. But yes. it is in his own state. That's why we are telling you, even the Amechi, the Rochas of Colorado that are MPs, we don't trust them. They are on their own. Let me tell you this. <laughs> they are on their own. Nobody can deceive us again. We are wise they are now. Business men, huh? They are business men. No, what, I, what, I'm telling you, like what I'm telling you is that Rochas was in, he is running to Sultan. He didn't know Sultan has no significance in this government. Even last two days he mm. was in Sokoto. He didn't know that even Sultan has no significance in this government. He, he, he was in this north. It was Rochester state. He must state that they started saying that Hausa people must have yes. ID card to live in that state. Yes. Can you hear me? They say Hausa yes. people must have ID card to live in state. Yes. Until when we mobilize our people here and say, okay, in that case, all Southerners must live north. Then Jonathan now realized that there was something going on. He said, no, these things have to stop. So are we mad? Do you get me? Count every yes, five shops in this, in this north. Six, four shops are owned by Ibos. What, what is Ibos contribution in the economy? It's not trade. And fraudulent trade for that matter. Including you, Ibo have cheated you. Unless if you are not buying spare tire, spare parts and tires and medicine. So or not so? It's so allergic. Do you get me? Yet we accommodated that. Is it going to Dubai to, buy, to bring fake drugs that we, don't, we cannot do it? Now the plan is Drugs now, no Igbo man will again sell drugs in this north. We are going to bring it from Atkano. Drugs are brought by air. They are going to open okay. massive coolers, cool, cool, cool rooms in Kano, and import it all north, and maybe whatever you want to buy, come and buy from Kano. No Igbo will sell drugs again. We are tired of all this nonsense. We know how to control our places, the way they control their own. What we are saying is that we are all Nigerians, but we are going to learn what they are doing in South East and do it in the north too. Simple. Yes. We, okay, we, we don't have ancestors, but... If, if Buhari today, as president of this country, want to buy land in the east, he will go and negotiate everything. Tomorrow, the chiefs will come and tell him that ancestors met them yesterday night and said they should not sell the land for them. So <laughs> we, we, we don't have ancestors. Or oh, we are betraying ourselves. Yeah. We, my ancestors have told us that we have been careless. That's why we suffered for the past six years. <laughs> we have to wake up now. I like you. No, it's okay. a very serious thing. No, 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 no. I, we cannot, sir. Your society is already adulterated. That's why, to be honest to you, let me tell you, to be honest to you, we never yes. wanted Buhari in this law, so we wanted uh, Concourse. Yes, yes. We want, yes, that's if, what I'm if it is Concourse, or the primary, or Concourse will have defeated Buhari. Listen to me. Uh, hey, you know the Tinibus and Corps prefer, prefer, prefer Buhari? Because yes, they can... Uh, Tinibus, uh, if, if you really try, they can you hear me? Because yes. Concourse will have solved this North-South problem for us within six months. Hmm. In Kano, Concourse of God has all the Igbos and told them that 
all these gloves that he closed, all those fake gloves they are selling in Kano. They know him now. Mm. So that's why we wanted Konkoso to be the, 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 the district. He was made in Abuja and one of after the election that they were the ones in charge of 75% of Abuja is their own. They should be given minister of. Can you imagine? Mm. Mm. Negotiate say this is the governor they want. With their rule at everything, Ibo say no, he cannot be governor. Haba, haba, mm. haba. In somebody's land. In somebody's land. Haba kule. Haba kule. The arrogance is too much. <laughs> so, 10 years ago, I have won it. I say the Igbos are building nation within our nation. They will mm. engage us within our nation and reinforce from their nation. That is exactly what we saw during the tenure of Jonathan. Immediately we voted Jonathan. What we did to Jonathan in this north? Igbos, the Igbos in the north, their chiefs, gathered and came to Aso Villa. To the glare of everybody on TV, they say it was nobody that voted them, voted Jonathan, but the Igbos were the ones who voted him. Did you not hear that one? Did you not read it? In our own land, Igbo say we didn't vote Jonathan. It was they that voted Jonathan. Two, before elections again, they gathered themselves and came and met Jonathan and met in Abuja and said that they are directing all Igbos in the north must vote Jonathan. We don't mind. We don't mind. Let them vote anybody. But can you do that yeah. in the in the south southeast? They stop us from even voting. Let me answer this. I mean, our life was salam. Alaji. In your name? We call. Let us talk in the night. Alaji. Hello. Thank you. Can you hear me? Uh, in the southeast, the all houses in the southeast were prevented from voting. Find out. Mm. Yes, find out. But yet, in our own land, they will stand and say that. Just it is. It is their problem that forced Oba of Lagos to say that. If if they don't, they try to frustrate the decision of the Eurobank, mm -hmm. they will send them to ocean. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, after four years, at least not we are liberal, but in the South West Kule, after four years, Igbos mm -hmm. can never be use, useful, uh, relevant again in the Southeast. Wait and see. Mm -hmm. can, in fact, the plan is, the plan of APC is that they are going to make alliance of Northwest economic development. The West has the ocean. Can you hear me? Yes. The North has agricultural produce. Yes. So what they are going to do, they are, the government is going to develop all the agricultural and mineral resources in the North. And then they will put primary industries here. And then go yes. and export, the, finally finish them in Lagos or Southwest and export them and bring back the money and share it between the two regions. Let them drink their oil. This is the plan on ground. Okay. Let's just pray for success of uh, uh, General Barry. For that, if success is our success, for that we can benefit better. It's true. That's our prayer now. Ah, that's our prayer here. Yeah. Everybody is praying for his daughter for that. If he's successful, everybody is successful. God help us. That's a, no, but that's not to the extent of living the way we are. Our prayer now is that may God remove the influence of the Southeast in our region. That's all what we are praying. Left and right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. I like you. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. The Boko Haram, these people, these people are caught red handed with bombs. Who are supplying the uh, weapons? Who killed hmm. General Shua? They think we don't know. They were saying. That they were revenging what they did to them in Biafara. Biafara was a war, it was a state war, trying to bring them back to the nation. Not be so. Do you get me? Some useless yes. videos started Boko Haram, but there was hand. Don't worry, investigation will reveal everything now. Don't worry. We were just exercising patience, looking at what is happening. That is typical Northern. That's how we are. Just look at what is happening. But we drew a line. 2014. 20, are we 2015? They call it. It is yeah. the end of it. Whether anybody wins or then win is okay. That was our decision, honestly. And they met well, in Inugu. And re listen to me, they met and saw it that in the event of cutting it, why will they put their people? That's why the man has to yeah. surrender now. Let him, in fact, some of us preferred him to have been resistant so that we will redefine this country. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, a lot of casualties will be many. Nothing like killing. Let everybody go his way. Ha! <laughs> is it not rain that is falling in the north now? We have the food. What is oil? Look at Niger. That, uh, that e -E Rano is still selling oil. He's bringing it from Niger. Mm. 
What is the big deal? It is when they met and saw the danger of any attempt. That was how they surrendered. But honestly, we have already made up our mind. Made up, because we said to ourselves, if you don't, even if you stayed, you are, they are going to kill you. Abi? And that Jonathan from Namadi Sambo down to the lowest person you know is a Boko Haram. They can trick you whoever you are. We know that. At least we are part of the system. Mm. Thank you, Kule. Well, I agree. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes.